Hi friends, welcome to the Wild Side. I'm Steve Hall. It is described as a whirlwind week, a one-of-a-kind experience with nothing else quite like it anywhere in the country. Camp Tanasi here at Montgomery Bell State Park in Dixon County has kids coming from all across the state and others crossing several state lines for an opportunity to be part of the adventure. Some like it so much, they just don't want to leave. We are at Camp Tanasi 2021. It's actually the only overnight week-long camp in Tennessee State Parks that is actually ran by park rangers. I wish they would have had something like this when I was growing up. We actually Googled it and there's nothing else like it in the U.S. So we're really proud of this. It's really fun. Yeah, I'm having a really good time. I'm having a wonderful time. I never want to leave. It's amazing. I think the most important thing of this camp is probably the appreciation for the outdoors. What I've seen this week, we've had kids that have never done some of our activities. I've never been canoeing. Thank you. We did rappelling today. I think it was like the first time I've done it. We went rappelling and it was really fun. As to be expected, um, some of them wanted to do it immediately. Some of them, it was a little bit, a little bit of coaxing, but it was good. Um, I don't like to do it either, so, but I can. Um, you just have to put your mind to it, and I was trying to get them to overcome their fear. And I trust other people, and well, you can believe you can go over a 50-foot drop, and you got to trust the guy on the other end of the rope, too, so it's, it's, it's a good thing. It was easy, it was hard at first, but then whenever you put your foot down on the first one, it's pretty easy. You can either jump or just walk backwards. This isn't just like a recreational camp. This is educational, it's immersive. So they're recognizing the importance of these natural places, how to protect and preserve them, and how to keep them for their children one day. They're super excited. They always love to get into the water, flipping over rocks. Uh, it's just pretty awesome whenever you can get your hands and feet wet and get your hands on these critters and actually take a look and identify them. They feel like little scientists. We had a team of our campers and uh, they sort of kicked around, and th that's where you get the term creek stomp. So they're stomping around and they scared all these critters into the net. Then we'd lift it up and we would identify them from there and categorize them. Uh, kids, they always love to catch crayfish. They are everywhere. Um, they're really fun. Everyone will say, look at that lobster. Uh, it's, it's a crustacean, so it looks exactly like a lobster. Me and my friend Dylan, we were, um, me and him were a team. We probably caught probably eight crayfish, maybe. Most of the kids, when they show up, are not with buddies. They don't know each other. But as the days and nights goes along, you see friendships that they have developed. And like today, there were people hugging each other, wanting their pictures taken with each other. And when I talked to them, they were from opposite ends of the state. They had no idea who they were when they first got here. We are the birds, and we've made like all the birds of us are friends and stuff and we made friends on the other teams. The difference between you know, a day camp and an overnight camp is the kids are able to form these bonds with each other and with their counselors and staff. They have lifelong friendships after this. It is something where they're getting a bond, maybe with new people, and then they find out that they're, everybody might be different, but they're all the same. So they all have areas that they could encourage one another. My favorite part would have to be whenever we swam in the freezing cold lake because it I didn't wanna I didn't wanna sit at first because it was freezing cold. But then whenever I got to go in the deep end and and like I just dove in, it was it was fine because then I heard uh, my friend uh, he said that cold water was healthy. Tanasi is really important to me because it was a concept that was started by two rangers and they came with the idea, brought it to me about an overnight ranger camp. It was actually Ranger Jeremy Vaden and Mark Houston's idea. And one night we, we were on our mission in the park doing a little bit of patrol and we got into the campground area of this group camp and as we rode through we saw a it looked like a church group had this rented out. We were like, why can't we do this? Why can't we as state parks have a camp for kids, like a summer camp, a sleepaway camp? I've never had anything like that before, and I thought, that sounds like a pretty cool idea. Let's go with it. We didn't know what to call the camp. 
Uh, there were several different names, and none of them really did the right thing. And Chinazi is a Cherokee word. It means a meeting place for a bend in the river, and it stuck. It was the Tenazi, which then became Tennessee. It's the derivation of the name of our state. After the first year, we thought, we can make this an annual event. So this is our second event we've had. It's just neat to see people from all over, all over the state. And this year, we have five different states represented to come together to enjoy the camp. It's an amazing experience. If the guys, people at home are watching, they can see that these kids are all smiles. Um, they're also very tired. <laughs> They've put in a lot of running, a lot of work, and a lot of playing. But it, it's a great thing for kids to come and learn and, and be kids and be accepted as who they are and also make memories that they'll have forever. It's really, really fun. I love staying in the woods. I love sleeping in the cabin. I love being out here. I love being surrounded by nature. Yeah, I, I don't really want to go home. <laughs> I wish I could do it all over again, really. Tennessee's Wild Side has been a presentation of the Jackson Foundation in association with Rockwater TV.